<laughs> Who would you, Garrett? I'd say emo poser. I'd start with there. Wow. Wow. Starting strong. Emo poser. He's a guy. Uh, he's a young guy. He's going to college. He likes some music. Yep. What's he's, up, man? What's hey. happening? How you doing there, brother? I'm doing good, guys. He's Eric, that freaking crip walk two step. That was rad. Hell yeah. I saw that shit. So you gotta look good. You gotta be Ooh. bossy. You gotta be bossy. <laughs> All right. My question was, what do you guys have anything that gives you anxiety or like a fear, like deep anxiety or fear that no one else has that same feeling towards or it's irrational? I wouldn't point that out in a public forum because then you would know my weakness. Uh, yeah. My enemy that might be that might be Garrett's. Uh, <laughs> hey, are you drinking tea? Yeah, uh, peach, oh, peach country passion. Yeah! Cheers! Awesome. Cheers, cheers T-Cast! I see uh, some birds on that. That's a nice cup. A very nice cup. This has Marvel characters and another cup that says lefties do it right. Lefties I took this from my grandma's right. house. <laughs> nice. Uh, what is an anxiety? That I can't think I'm of- I'm trying to think of something now. I don't have- I, I remember when I was a kid, my, my biggest fear mm. was- and it was so stupid thinking about it now. But getting locked into places after they've closed. Oh really? When I was oh a kid, wow! If a store was closing, I had to. That's get like out most of kids' it. dream. When yeah. I when I was a kid, it was like we're okay, we're closing in ten minutes. I'm like, we gotta go. We we I, for some reason, <laughs> uh, that that was like a, such a fear of mine. And one time, I got we got uh, th we went to the beach. And some beaches they lock. Yeah, after really? a certain amount, and they were announcing on the thing. Yeah, we're shutting it down in ten minutes. I'm like, we gotta go, we gotta go, and we missed it. I got locked in. Oh, so what happens? And uh, we we ended up having to do all like uh, I think somebody got it. We got on like a ride or something like that. that this makes is all it when I was like a little. Though. I must have been ten. Oh, but uh, yeah, that was like my fear coming alive. You know, it was awful. You'd probably in Japan whenever a store's closing, they just play special music. Yeah, don't they play like the? <laughs> it's like, like is it Old Lang Syne? Is that the name of the New Year's Old song? Old Syne. Yeah, yeah, they play that. How do you pronounce it? Old Lang Syne. Old Lang Syne. Old, yep. right? Yep. What is that? Is that a you foreign language? Got, uh, yes, French. Ah, well, anyway, that would that song would be like the Halloween theme. For you, it just strike fear yeah. in your heart. It'd yep. be like time to get I, out. I, I, Michael I, I, Myers yeah. is coming. Yeah, he's gonna get me. Yep. <clears throat> I've talked about my anxieties on the podcast, but I really don't. Ha since talking about them, I don't really have them anymore. I got a new okay. thing. Really? Yeah, I've been having a sort of anxiety attack lately. About what? Like a panic attack that, you're thing that happens to me. No, no, no. Oh. It's not exactly what emo poser brought up, mm -hmm. but. The first, it's happened to me about four times. Mm -hmm. The first time was that, that first wrestling show that we went yeah. to, the uh, TNA pay-per-view. Yeah. Really? When we were yeah. walking out, it, this is what happens to me. I'm going somewhere, I'm usually on my way somewhere, and I don't have a jacket, and it's freezing cold, and I start to get really cold, really cold, and then all the muscles in my neck tense up, and then I start to feel like, I'm gonna have this anxiety. The first time it happened to me, Whoa. the first time it happened to me, I didn't know what it was. And now when it when I start to think about it, if I'm on my way to my car and it's cold, I've triggered it twice. Wow. Really? I've, That's fucking I've weird. triggered it by but, thinking about it. But you know you're gonna but, be okay, then what what is But it? here's here's the thing though. I'm 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 starting to get anxiety and all the muscles in my neck are tensing up and everything on my body is like because I'm shivering so hard, my muscles won't relax and they just start to bind so they contract so strictly that like it it hurts my fucking body. Really? And then I have to get to the car. I feel like a fucking Frankenstein. It starts to impede my movement. Wow. Like, literally, because I'm shaking, because yeah. I'm shivering and shaking, and it's hard to fucking walk. Wow. And then I get into the car, start it, turn the heater on, and just like breathe, breathe, and just you need to, like, and then use calm down. More or and something. then no, it has nothing Jeez, to do with my man. asthma. Really? It's a, it's a weird anxiety thing about. It's happened about four times, huh. uh, and it's it started the first one. When wow, was that? So was weird. that a year ago? That was like October. Yeah, it was yeah, October. That was just, uh, yeah. So it's happened just rarely, wow. and, and and the the actually maybe it's only three, but those other two times I definitely was aware of it, and mm -hmm. I thought, ooh, I'm cold. My car's wow. like three blocks away. I hope I don't start to uh oh, really? and then I start to get that rigid really? feeling wow. of all my muscles That's contracting. That's fucking weird. Yeah. yeah. Um, the brain is. Is so odd how you can kind of huh. subdue it into this That's so, state. Garrett, I have a friend who had like, I had a friend who had like that exact same thing. Really? Yeah. Well, <laughs> you're worrying me as you said, I had a friend. Yeah, what happened? Did they die? Yeah, he died from exposure actually. <laughs> what? 
What's gonna like what? You're gonna die. How am I supposed to take that? I don't know. You live in California. It doesn't get. It was like negative fifteen. Jesus here. Christ. Yeah, it was like ninety here. <sighs> Thanks. I'm gonna sleep great tonight. Hell yeah. No, it's not that bad. And you know what? Just as I can trigger it, I think mm -hmm. I can also prevent it from happening if I just concentrate on that. Yeah. Next time it starts, I'm going to just concentrate on overcoming it and breathing deeply while I walk to my car. And, and I think I'll be able to mind over matter that. Really? Yeah. Oh. Do you have any weird anxiety, Sean? Uh, yeah. What? Uh, Name one. I, I, I think... Uh, looking stupid. Is that an anxiety to have? Sure. Yeah, that's, that uh, can I give you I am anxiety. so terrified of looking stupid. Like introducing yourself? Or, or people if you've already met someone? That's it. Like, yeah. no, really though, because that no, really I is... No, I have that too. I do that. I just, uh, that's why I have little ways I get around it. I never say like, oh, good to see you again. I go like, hey man, how's it going? How's it going? Nice I to see I kind of feel ya. like sometimes I subconsciously fuck myself too. Yeah. Hey or man, it's like, what's up? I, I know this is going to be a problem. This is good. Yeah, this is good. Yeah. This is good. I know like... I always think to myself, don't say this thing, and then I'll say it. You know, or oh. it's just I just am really, really terrified of looking stupid. Huh. Um, yeah, or maybe just being stupid. I don't know. I'm scared of that. No, you're not stupid. I think we all have a fear. Of yeah, that. Stupid. Yeah, I mean, de de definitely. I mean, it's normal. I get nervous about going to a new place and finding parking. Oh yeah. I also get. I this is that a real fear I have of going to a restaurant with more than six people. Like, yeah, I don't. Oh, that I don't like me the do, fuck out. I don't do it anymore. Well, we do it for my fucking birthday and shit like that, and that's the only time I do. And it always seems like such a hassle. I'm not. I'm not doing that shit for my birthday anymore. I'll order some pizzas. Yeah, yeah. I know. I gotta start doing that. We barbecues, used to do the barbecues. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the I'll sushi was fun last year, but it was yeah. too much. It's just when you start having. Oh, there's gonna be ten people, and then all of a sudden it turns into fourteen, or you because, say twelve, yeah. and it turns into six, and you're just like. The, whole, the, whole the restaurant's always pissed I'm at you. I'm sorry. Yeah. Happy birthday. It's such a headache. Yeah. No one knows to, how much to pay. Trying to, yeah, split up. Oh, well, I only ordered the two. Yeah, I don't care. I don't, I don't enjoy it. Yeah. I just hate it. I, I, like Brian, the, I like the barbecues and stuff. Brian hates it so much that when it was time to, like, split up the check, this is going out to dinner one time. Oh, yeah. There were so many there people, was, and people were going, like, well, I don't know. Well, I mean, I only have, and they're trying to, like, figure it out. Brian just went, one of the waiter took the receipt, and then his card just went, put all on this. I don't care. Put it all on this. Whoa. <laughs> I don't care. Mm -hmm. Brian's that Brian said it was worth it to me to get out of there and away from these people that I didn't have to like I'll just pay for it. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's it. That's why that's one thing is I always bring cash in that situation. Mm -hmm. yep. Because I hate when there's like ten cards being yep. charged uh -huh. and it's just like it's just cash. Yep. Yeah. Really. Pain in the ass. Yeah. Pa uh, I would say add that to my anxiety uh I but I, I have that too. Going to restaurants sure. yep. with more than six people. Do yeah. you think that you are overall an anxious person? Oh you're absolutely have there you seen have yeah, you yeah. seen me? My natural resting state is this. He's practically yeah. vibrating. I'm, I'm the uh, the only way uh. I would describe myself is Weasley or rat like. Do you <laughs> kinda like a golem. Uh, do you I'm, talk to yourself when no one's around? All the time. He says all oh, the precious. Me too. I do that too though. I don't know if that's like a normal thing or you, you have like half a conversation in your head, you're saying like all your parts. Yes, yeah, but I, do. I no, I say I just insult myself. You're a fucking idiot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sure. Do that? see, we don't like to. Hear no, that. I do that. No, that's what I do though. Like if I I'm don't like, like that. if I'm like, doing dishes like by myself, and then like, you're an accomplished man. I just think about things I've done that I like, fucked up with. Like, oh, I did do you that. Know what? Why did I, I say that? You're a fucking idiot. We brought that up on the podcast that I would do that and yeah. beat myself up over it. After we talked about it on the podcast for a really long time, yeah. I don't do that anymore. Oh, that's good. I really, really don't. Hey. I mean, you talked about it. That's a form of that, therapy. Yeah, and yeah, it really sure. is. Uh, it it helped me a lot. I don't. I really don't do it. You as guys much have either. problems talking to yourselves. You need to get a cat. Oh, you talked. The, yeah, that's what needs what? to happen. You need to be like Garrett to pick up your cat to hold it close to your face to go. You're just property. I bought you like this couch. Well, like, you, <laughs> sometimes if you gotta talk to something, uh -huh. you talk to or something. or tell them secrets. Yeah, you know that you if don't. You, have if to. you're alone and you want to get something off your chest, you have a or companion. even even like if you're not alone, like you're just in the kitchen with your cat and like other people are there and like you. Can well, tell other people are in the other room. Your guests. We're, we're alone. <laughs> well, I'll look over. I've said this before. I'll look over and he will just be whispering in your cat's ear. <laughs> I tell her so. When you guys like, come over, I like, I let her know about you guys so she doesn't feel nervous, and she acclimates pretty well. Nah, she barbecues. still runs away. She kind of cruises around. There's a lot of people in the house. Yeah. True. She's used to me and Eric. The cat so. sucks. Oh, she's a loud. She's a mouthy little bitch lately. Oh, I gotta hear She does this thing now where she wants the attention, and she won't just meow to get your like attention. And you look at her, and it's like, oh, cute meow. It's like. A long, drawn out, and progressively louder towards the end. And she'll like stare at you while she does it. She'll go like, yeah. 
Yeah, it's fucking it's scary. scary. Hey, Garrett's cat fucking sucks. It's all yeah. fucked it's up. It's really long that's, like that's that. Scary. It's lo It gets longer and louder like she's forcing it out at you yeah. while she stares and then, daggers. And then you go, whoa, shit. And you go to try to pet the cat. She runs Run two feet away from you and looks at you again. Yeah. And I just, I will it's like, game. I'll like try to step on Garrett's cat. That's the game. Whoa. Oh, step on Garrett's whoa. cat. Get your... Guys, yeah, yes, your parents' cat's cool. Yeah, that cat's That's a cool awesome. Cat. I haven't seen that cat yet. Yeah, oh, it, its name is my yeah. brother named it Fernet, what? which is a drink. You know what? Al Brian pointed this out. I didn't know this. Um, Fernet is a drink, and it's what Alfred orders. You know, like in his fantasy thing, at like the end in uh, Batman. Oh yeah, Dark Knight oh, Rises. The thing, that, that's what he's gonna order. I guess that's what it is. I've just been calling the cat Furnace. <laughs> <laughs> Furnace. My mom goes, that's not the cat's name. I'll give it. It's a cat. It doesn't know its fucking name. Yep. Hey, hey. Stupid ass cat. Yeah. Well, I hope that answers your question, yeah. you poser. That's our my anxiety comes mostly from Garrett's cat. Yep. Can I share mine? Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, please Go. Do. Should I do fear or anxiety first? Wh whatever, man. We're gonna flitch about. All right. I'm really. I have globophobia, which is basically the fear of. It's like the fear of things that float, but it's mainly balloons. Wow. Oh, you really have that? I, I've heard of that. Yeah, I've heard of that too. Yeah. I next there's, there's a main road that I have to take to get like, it'd be so convenient to take if I could go anywhere, but there's like a balloon that floats by a string, so I can't take it. You can't just tough it out and say, fuck it, I'm just gonna now, drive past it? W nope. What about it scares you? I don't know. I think, like psychologically, from what I've heard, it's like the fear of letting go and like. Yeah, because I, I get the idea of going. like it's just hanging on by that string. If that string is gone, then it goes up into who the fuck knows where. Yeah, and then, you that's know, what I can see that. But you're not on it. No, I know. But like he's imagining that he is. I just man, what I, I just think about how I could get killed instantly all the time. So it never makes me like cautious or worry about it. It's just like. A car could crash into me. A fucking bomb could drop. You know what? There was a fucking earthquake could crush us all in I ten was, seconds. Nine, I, eight, seven, six. You know what I mean? Hmm. So like, just have fun while we're Emma, still alive. Emma was one. Oh. Nope, See, not that, not that Emma had a soccer, soccer game today. Mm -hmm. I was driving and I made a wrong turn randomly because I've never I've done this a thousand times. So I do a U turn. It took me on a forty five seconds to, of a delay. There was an accident. <gasps> In front of me, that was, I swear, 45 seconds huh. like, ahead of me. That's that Jesus I just, Christ. You think? The Lord saved me. I just missed it, and I was like, if I wouldn't have taken that wrong turn, who knows? It could have been that fucking accident. Yeah. That was you, Did you make the sign of the cross? I did the Sammy Sosa thing. I did, um, I did the. I did the. Mark, I did the you remember Sammy doing that? I do he, remember Sammy doing that. When he used steroids to hit all those home runs. I said that Mark McGuire. They both. Thanks God steroids. for the performance enhancing drugs. <laughs> Thank well, you. Well, it's all gone there. Big ups, yeah. man. That's okay, like, what's your biggest anxiety? Go! Extension cords. Oh. Extension cords trip you out or what? No, they trip them up. Good night. Oh, oh I don't know why. <laughs> See, I don't know about like a physical thing that exists in the world that's not like a hazard, like obviously like a wild animal or something. Yeah. I don't understand an irrational fear of an object. Like, I was never scared of heights until recently. I knew a girl that was scared of jello. I did. I, I kind of started getting on But that. like I can... A lot of times I have to be on this ladder to put things up on this ceiling. I have to get into the very top tier where yeah. you're not supposed to stand. Yeah. Well, well, I get up there anyways, like, eh, I'm fine. But that's fine. It's not but safe. Like, I just imagine, like, I, when I was a kid, we did this hike to Half Dome on, in Yosemite, and there's a part where it goes up the dome, and there's, like, on either way, if you slip off the cable, you're going, like, thousands of feet. And, like, I wasn't scared at the time, but looking back, I'm like, that's fucking terrifying. That's crazy. That's scary you're shit. You're crazy, dude. Yeah, you're nuts. You fucking look good. Like sick. Uh, you know what? The the skydiving thing? Yeah. I wouldn't do that again. No? No. Because that was just falling to earth with nothing underneath you. No! And then terrifying. when they let go and I pull the chute, you're just alone. I find... And yeah. you're looking up and it's string. Yeah, it's shoe, shoelaces are holding you. Yeah. So you turn in and it's all cool and then you realize like, maybe I'm turning a little too aggressively for these laces. Yeah, it's so thin, the yeah. wire and everything. So then you're just... Because you look down, there's nothing. Yeah. yeah. Just when trees I, to impale you. When, when we uh, when we went to GDC last no, a couple years ago, there they have a sweet party that we're invited yeah. to, and it's on like oh, the thirty yeah. fifth floor. And there's yeah. a balcony, and you look down, and that to me is like every time I'm there, I have to instantly Vertigo. go. I have to go outside and just like get used to it, huh, and really? then I'm fine. But I'm, first, it trips me out, and the like elevator ride down freaks me out too. Like the elevator that high up, I'm like ah fuck, that is, that oh, is fuck. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. And it just started recently. Hmm. All right, let's talk to miles and miles of miles. 